Just imagine what if your website could call your customers back automatically using AI? Well, that's exactly what an AI powered callback widget does. A visitor simply fills out a form on your website with their details and they get a phone call instantly. And as soon as they pick up, an AI voice agent speaks with them. The voice agent sounds natural, talks exactly like you want it, and does exactly what you want it to do. Don't you think it's going to increase your revenue? It's just like having a 24 by 7 sales team that calls every single person that ever visits your website and shows interest exactly when they're a warm lead. And for your customers, they get instant attention. They don't have to wait on a call and they get answers to every question they have. If that sounds interesting, stick to the very end because I'm going to show you exactly how you can achieve that. Before that, let me show you how it works so that it sets the right expectations. So let me take you to my screen now. So we're going to assume that this is your website and right here at the bottom right corner is your callback widget. And as soon as the visitor clicks on it, they see this very beautiful form right there. It shows a title that you can customize, for example, get a custom quote from us. After that, it says, leave your details below and we will call you. The call is free. After that, all they have to do is add their details. As soon as they do that, they'll have to tick this checkbox so that they're giving us permission to call them and that links directly to your privacy policy. And then they simply have to click on submit request to get an instant call from your AI voice agent. So let me click on it. Your call request has been sent. And there we go. Hi, this is Christina from EcoSolar Solutions. How can I assist you today? Hi, actually I was looking for solar panels for my office. Great. Is your office a commercial property located in California? Yes, it is. Thank you for confirming. And what's your office location in California? Well, it's situated in Los Angeles. Sounds good. We'd be happy to help. Would you be interested in scheduling a consultation visit with one of our solar experts? Yeah, sure. That would be great. Perfect. Let's get started. First, could I have your name, please? Yes, it's Yashika. Thanks, Yashika. And what's the best email address for sending your consultation details? It's yashika at the rate gmail.com. Thank you, Yashika. When would be a good time for you to speak with one of our solar consultants? Please note we don't schedule consultations on weekends. Okay, we can do Monday at uh, 2 p.m. Let me check our system and confirm that time. Perfect. Your consultation is scheduled for Monday at 2 p.m. You'll get a confirmation email shortly. On the day of the visit, one of our representatives will ask for your exact office location. You can share it with them then. Is there anything else I can assist you with today? No, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome, Yashika. Thank you for choosing EcoSolar Solutions. Have a great day. There you go. That was the call. It was completely powered using AI. There was no human on the other end. And as I said, you can customize it as you like and you can get it to do whatever you want. It can help you book appointments during the call. It can help you send them custom quotes during the call. It can also help you capture their details and send it directly into your CRM. So if you're excited, let's get started and let's get this callback widget live on your website. Now, before we move forward, a quick introduction about myself. So hello, everybody. My name is Yashika Jain and I am an AI automation expert running my own company called Automate AI. At Automate AI, we help businesses implement AI into their processes, which not only saves them time, but also makes them extra money. So if you're looking for an AI system similar to the one in the video or else an AI voice agent and AI automation, then don't forget to check the link to our website in the description below. Apart from that, if you're looking for a one-on-one -on -one call with me, then you can find the link to my coaching calendar in the description. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more such content and do follow me on LinkedIn as well as X for some more exclusive content. All right, so now let's get back into the video. So this system is going to have two components. The first one is going to be setting up the voice agent and the second one is going to be deploying it as a callback widget on your website. So you'll find the link to Retalia in the description below. After that, simply click on join or login to get started. Once you create an account, you will land right here. And after that, all you have to do is click on create an agent and then select voice agent. Now, after that, you have a couple of options to choose from. For example, do you want to create a conversation flow agent? Do you want to create a single prompt agent? Or do you want to create a multi-prompt agent? We're going to keep custom LLM aside because it's a little on the advanced side of things. And these three choices should be more than enough for you. So if you're looking for a very rigid and highly formatted and highly controlled conversation, then I would recommend you go with this. 
If you're looking for a very simple or a very straightforward conversation, not much turns, then you can go with the single prompt agent. And if you wanted to do multiple things, for example, answer the questions, book appointments, transfer the call to your team if needed. And basically, if you have five, six things in mind, then you should go with a multi prompt agent. The one I was talking to was a single prompt agent because its job was to just, you know, talk to them, ask them qualifying questions and then just book an appointment. That's it. So I hope you have made the choice. Now, I have created separate videos on all three of them, which I'm going to link in the description below. And accordingly, you can watch that video and you can set the voice agent up. I've even shared the prompts that I've used and that can really give you a nice kickstart and then you can always customize them going forward. Just to give you an example, this is the voice agent I was speaking to in the beginning. This is the prompt for it. Again, you'll find it with that video. And you can go ahead and easily set this up. I will link this particular video up in the i button and you will obviously find it in the description below. Once your voice agent has been set up, all you have to do is head over to the settings. Then head over to the API keys and then head over to public keys. After that, click on add key and select public key. Then you can give it a name, for example, callback widget. And then you need to specify the domains where this widget should be allowed. For example, I have added my website's link. Now make sure that you don't include HTTPS or www. Just have the domain and the .com. You can add multiple if needed. For example, right now this website is live on a Reddit server. So I can copy the link to that and I can simply paste it here. Just make sure to remove any extra slashes from the back and remove HTTPS from the front and then simply click on save. Now that means that you can use this widget on these particular two domains only. So just copy this and save it somewhere. We will need it just in a moment. And once the voice agent is done, head back to your voice agent and then copy the agent ID, which you will find right here. Again, save that as well. We will need it just in a moment. And now let's go ahead and deploy this on your website. So in order to get it live on your website, all you have to do is copy this piece of code and add it to your website code. That's all you have to do. You don't have to code this form. You don't have to add any API requests, nothing like that. Just this piece of code. And again, you'll find this piece of code in the resources linked in the description below. And you can also find it on Rittel's documentation, just in case you are technical enough to search that. But um, I think copying it directly from the resources is going to be easier for you. And again, if you are going with one of these providers like WordPress or GoDaddy or any similar where you don't have access to the code, then don't worry. I'm going to show you how you can add it there as well. Now you can see all of these different parameters that you can change right here. So let me quickly explain what they mean so that you can customize that form according to your needs. So the very first one there is the public key, which again, we have generated and we just have to paste that and that's it, which is going to give it access to your retail account. The next one is the agent ID. Again, we've already copied that. That is taken care of. Next is the data widget, which should always be set as callback. Now, in this example, we already have it as callback, so no need to worry about it. But we are obviously going to change these things moving forward. And lastly is the phone number your uh, retail voice agent is teed to. Just in case you don't have a phone number teed to your voice agent, then I'll link another video up here, which is going to show you how you can get a phone number from Twilio and then connect it to your retail account and to your voice agent. After that, we have a few optional fields. It's up to you if you want to change them or not. The very first is the title. So remember, there's this get a call from us title on the form. So you can easily change it to whatever you'd like. And that is right here. Then we have the color. So you can make it match your brand. But for that, you need to have the hex code. You just can't type black or blue. So just get that and then replace it here. Then we have the TC, which is a URL to your terms and conditions page. So remember, they had to basically agree to your privacy policy. So you need to provide the link to that particular page. So if they click on it, they should land on that particular page. Then we have the recapture key just in case you'd like to add a capture, which is going to be powered by Google for your bot's protection. And how this really works is that the user clicks on the widget, a form appears, they fill out their details, the user submits the form. If there's a capture, they fill it out. And then the widget creates a phone call using the retail api the user receives the call from that particular phone number and the conversation is handled by your voice agent so yeah just copy this particular code from the resources in the description below after that head over to your website's code now first we're going to talk about the websites where you do have access to the code 
and then we'll have a look at those other WordPress sort of websites. So out of all the different files, you'll have to go with the index.html file, which is basically the main HTML page of your website. Then just look for this head tag. So you can also like just search for head. We're looking for the closing tag, which will basically have a slash. And just before the closing of the head section, you'll have to paste that code, which is going to look something like this. The first thing is your public key, which again, we generated just now. So all you have to do is replace this part, which is your retail public key with your actual public key. Next up is the agent ID. Again, we had copied it just now, which you will find right here. So simply copy it and paste it here. Make sure that you're not removing these quotation marks because they are crucial. Then make sure data widget is set as callback. Then add your retail phone number. Again, I've already told you how you can get a phone number for your voice agent. Just refer to that video. I'll also put it in the description below. And also make sure that you have the country code followed by the 10 digit number. I'm not sure if these are 10 digits. Next up, you can change the title. For example, request a call or get in touch or whatever you feel like. Then you need to specify which countries are enabled so that it's going to accordingly show the country codes it's not going to show it for all of them if you want it for all of them you'll have to add the country codes but yeah just get that sorted for example if i want india here i'll just simply add a comma and then i'll type i n you can also ask chat gpd what is your country code then add a link to your privacy policy or your terms and conditions page and make sure it is like a proper, proper link starting with HTTPS. And then you can also add the color. For example, by default, it's orangish. And then you can make it match your brand so that it doesn't look odd on your website. Then if you're going with the Google Captcha thing, you can keep this. If not, you can delete this line. After that, simply save that. And then you will spot the widget right there. It would be completely functioning. You don't have to do anything. But obviously, if you want to make any changes, you can. Now, for the people who have WordPress websites or let's say GoDaddy ones, hosting ones, or basically a website where you have not written code by yourself. In that case, head over to your favorite LLM. So let's go to Claude. And all you have to tell it is that my website has been built using whatever. So in this case, let's take WordPress. And I'd like to add a snippet of code to my HTML within the head tag. Then if you want, you can also give an example. For example, you can copy this and you can paste it here. Then you can mention, tell me step by step how I can add this. And hit send. And then it's going to tell you exactly how you can do that. Now for WordPress, I always use this particular plugin, maybe for like a chat agent or any sort of snippet. So just download this plugin and paste the code. It works perfectly. I've tried and tested it so many times. I've personally not go with the method too, because it can literally like hinder your uh, WordPress theme. Similarly, if let's say you have a Webflow website, so then we're going to replace this with Webflow and let's see what happens now. So it's somewhere in the project settings, you will find custom code and there you have to scroll to the head section and then paste your entire code snippet. And that's it. That's how you add an AI powered callback widget to your website. So go ahead, set up the voice agent, deploy it on your website and then see how your sales boost. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope this video was valuable and you were able to learn something new and build something new. If that was the case, don't forget to like the video and do subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for AI systems for your business, do check out the link to our website in the description below. If you're looking to connect with me, then don't forget to send me a connection request on LinkedIn. You'll find the link to my coaching calendar in the description below just in case you're interested. And yes, you'll also find all the resources, everything in the description. Do let me know if you have any other ideas for my future videos and I would be more than happy to cover them for you. So that's it for this video. I'll meet you in the next one. Till then, bye.